Hades is one of the first games available on the new Epic Games launcher, and it's available for $19.99. Not available anywhere else just yet, but it being Supergiant Games and not some exclusive publisher that we've known to only publish on certain platforms and nobody else, we know that it's probably going to come to Steam and perhaps, obviously, consoles, uh, and hopefully that also includes the Switch, because this is 100% the kind of game that I would play on the Switch. It is a roguelite. You guys have seen me play Rogue Legacy in the past. Take that same concept, but apply it uh, in uh, in the manner of, like, maybe kind of like an ARPG would be, where isometric perspective, uh, lots of enemies flying at you, lots of bullets all over the place, and just basically a lot of mayhem and guts and crazy shit all over the place. That is basically what you can expect from this. I'll bring it into gameplay in just a moment, but, uh, yeah, I will just go ahead and say I am quite, quite, uh, pleased with this game. Very, very much so. I would 100% put it up there with, uh, Dead Cells, with, uh, Rogue Legacy, with basically the greats in roguelites that we've had over the past, like, what, five to seven years. Uh, what I will say is it is early access, and as we get into the game here, uh, does it tell me how long? See, uh, 31 attempts. It may not seem like a lot of attempts, but some of these attempts go for quite a while. I have streamed this for a couple of days, so I am, uh, I am a little, pretty well versed in the game as a whole, but they are making a lot of like, small changes here and there, character portrait updates, all that good stuff. Uh, so first off, you see the art style Back screams super giant games. We've seen <laughs> some of their titles in the past and it basically you look at this like, oh yeah, that's super, super giant, 100%. <laughs> uh, it is, it looks amazing. It, if the flow of the characters and everything, it just all looks really, really good. Uh, the, uh, you can see here, we have Cerberus, we have, um, uh, Hades, uh, you are, your character is Zagreus, uh, there are some, uh, some placeholder characters in the game, so, for example, over here, this is Nyx, uh, Nyx, when you talk to her, uh, she'll give you a dialogue we here. stronger since when we last interacted, child. Your bedroom mirror may appear to be the cause, but then, of course, the real cause is you. Deep. So, notice in the character portrait, she is uh, not a ghost. <laughs> so, there's two placeholder arts here. Uh, this uh, this character portrait here is a place is placeholder art. Uh, I know this, well, I'm certain of it because there's like three characters that looks like this, and there's no way you're gonna have three gods that are <laughs> that are basically all look the same. That would just be uh, just be a huge crime against humanity. Um, so. Every character, so every character portrait and also the character model that you see uh, will all be probably updated later. It means a lot, Nix. Uh, so if you've played Stardew Valley <laughs> or maybe any of the other games that have this uh, this romancing type feature, uh, you have the ability to romance. If you notice when I was up talking to uh, folks, it says another talk and also gift. Uh, that's because I can, I can, I can give uh, Hades a gift if I wanted to, but he's a shitty father. Uh, and, and a huge asshole on top of it. So, no, we're just gonna say that for ourselves or somebody else. Now, I am attempting to waifu somebody right now. It's taking some time, but I'm on the last couple stages of that. But I will show you here, and I'll go to the codex. Don't read anything. Don't read anything. Just look at the hearts at the top. It's exactly like Stardew Valley. You have a certain number you could go to, and then you have to do something in order to unlock the rest. Right? And so, that is... <laughs> the this this is basically how the romantic feature works. I don't know if I could eventually get laid by doing this. I really hope so because I chose Dusa and I'm really working on getting some head. Anyway, so <laughs> let's go ahead and go in here and talk a little bit about your bedroom. So in the bedroom here, we have a giant mirror and we have a bed too, actually. Let's see, you go. If I sit down, I won't want to get back up. You can go and you can try that. Obviously, won't let you. Uh, see, look, he's already got a thing for Medusa, man. It's all over the place. Uh, we look at the mirror here. This is, if you remember Rogue Legacy, and they had the whole talent tree thing where uh, you basically go through and you build out your tree, you build out each individual character or whatever, uh, getting perks and all that stuff. Like, that is basically this. And, yeah, and a number of other games, of course, Dead Cells, etc. Like, this just this exists everywhere, and it's so good. That's why everyone uses it, because it works. It allows you to... To basically unlock through gameplay these little uh, gems right here. I'm playing with the uh, mount, the the, the uh, controller. By the way, you can play with the mouse and keyboard. Somebody, a couple people in my chat while I was streaming it said they beat it on mouse and keyboard. So 
it must not be that bad, I guess. <laughs> so these gems right here, they're called darkness. So if you have plural, they're darknesses. Ah, funny. So if you get you get these when you do runs, uh, when you when you basically do the uh, um, uh, the actual game loop, the core game loop, which is going through and playing the procedurally generated uh, series of arenas and such, uh, you get these through gameplay, and then you can turn around and spend them. Uh, on one of these things, uh, on some of these things here. Now, uh, obviously it's gonna scale as they go up. So right now I have 25. So I just, if we start at the beginning here, you say I had 10, right? Then you put it in, oh, now it's 15. Okay, now it's 20, now it's 25. There doesn't seem to be, they're not, they don't all go up by fives. Uh, for example, Greater Reflex here, it goes 50, 250, and then max, right? Actually, sorry, yeah, 50, 250, max. Um, uh, see, this is another good example here. You can see it goes 20, 60, 90, Max. All right. So there's no there's no like one single like formula they're using for this. I see it seems like they've ta tailored it. Uh, but what's nice about it is the lower numbers are so low that you can actually get uh, you can actually unlock fairly like useful things fairly quickly. So here we have internal souls. Now internal souls is basically one of you. It's one of your attacks, and uh, it's a special attack. It's and it can be it can be augmented through boons and such that you collect when you get when you actually get to the game. Um, but you only get like however many uh, infernal souls you have. So it's basically, think of it kind of like an arrow. It kind of fires like an arrow. And so in your quiver, you can only have one to start with. And then you add another one. You have two, three, four, uh, 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 right? It's super easy. Uh, the uh, see, a couple of quick temper. Each rank gives you 10% damage uh, when you dash and then attack right away. Um, the gameplay style in terms of how it plays is very much like Hyper Light Drifter. Uh, actually, very, very, very much like Hyper Light Drifter. That very fast, frenetic type movements all over the place. Lots of dodging. Um, let's see. Death Defiance. So basically, this means that I can heal. Uh, I could res myself three times, so if I die, I'll res with 20 health. Uh, and then let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm going to just kind of throw these in something just to get us into the next thing here. Quick temper. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go back. All right, I'm ready. All right. This is the. I was gonna show you the little pool right there. It just tells you what your stats are. I've done 21 runs go. or 30 runs or whatever it's been. Uh, let's see. So this is your weapon selection. So we're gonna beat up on uh, on this guy here in just a moment. Actually, let's show you this. What's this one here? Uh, so I have a new one. So these are all items that you get. If you notice on the uh, on the romance screen where it has the hearts, there were a gift. There was a gift at like every other heart or whatever, or certain hearts for each person. In most cases, in almost all cases, uh, the first gift you give them will give you will get you the skull. Or, sorry, not skulling, but get you an artifact. This is basically uh, a character a, a, just a character augment that has a special and usually fairly interesting. Uh, dynamic or something that it does. So if this is deal 140% damage while at full. Oh, they nerfed that. Those sons of bitches. All right. So yeah, like I said, they they've been updating it with little hot fixes. Even though it says the next update is in 33 days, if you notice at the main screen, uh, that is uh, that's for a major update. Seems like a long time, right? You sort of we're so used to content every week for these uh, these uh, uh, early access titles. Uh, but no, in this case, they're still they're putting out hot 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 fixes uh, here and there. And today there was a hot fix, and at, that was previously 200% damage, and they they nerfed it down to 140. So I will not be using that anymore. <laughs> That probably why that's probably why right we everyone is using it this gives you a bonus okay good at least they didn't they didn't nerf that that's services caller so you get 25 uh, plus 25 health uh rubble falling from damage pillars deals 500 percent damage to your foes that's pretty good but doesn't help you much on some boss fights hmm uh because there's only so many pillars <laughs> uh distant memory deal out to 100 damage doesn't foes uh passing for the block of path let's see uh, we take the damage stay alive with 10 ones, so this I could just add it, so now I could like res myself five times. I uh, see, Myrmidon, Bracer, take 20% less damage from the front, but 10% with the back. Let's see, uh, items from, well, uh, kind of increase four encounters. Yeah, we're gonna get into that too. There's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff to go over. Once we get to the core game loop though, it pretty much, if like, once you see me like do like one or two rooms, you pretty much got the gist of the game after that. This back end is actually the most important part here. Keep up the 200 coin after you die, that's the same exact mechanic we had in Rogue Legacy, where basically you had a currency that would, uh, that if you pay, if you uh, unlock a certain uh, tier of, uh, uh, of of whatever augments, then you can basically carry coin, uh, excess, more coin, a percentage, I think, uh, after each run. Uh, let's see, we're gonna start with this, just so we get some more health. Raw health? Yeah, cause that's, uh, it's, well, it's 25 health. Yeah, it's 25 health flat, which I feel like is more effective health than basically resing with 10 health once depending on how hard you get hit. But most of the time you're getting it for like 10. So I feel like that's, that one. That's, a good, that's a good thing. Now, 
Weapons! Woo! Man, the sword. They just, they actually just did some, I made some changes to this. Um, so I'll just basically point out the way it functions now. So, you have a one, two, and then push! There we yeah, thank you. You have a, uh, a special ability, and then you have... Well, that's actually quite, pretty much it. <laughs> Each weapon basically has a different way that it uh, functions in terms of like how you attack. This is like pretty standard game stuff, right? Wow, the third one's a thrust, knocks enemies back. Uh, let's see, my special is an AoE attack, da da da, and then... Oh, let me show you this. This is the arrow I was talking about. And so, the only way to get those back now that we spent those uh, Infernals is by killing this guy. Or, after a certain amount of time, they actually pop off the character. So, if you if it's somebody that you're just having a hard time beating and you nailed them a few times, you could just basically float around a little bit until you get one back. So, we'll go and get this. Notice that there's a little purple yeah, swirly bit on it, right? Watch, well, I'll show you. Let's go with this one. See the swirly bit? That just means you get more darknesses, like a 10% increase in darknesses. Now, in the, now in the early game, that's not really that. It's not really worth it uh, because you're only going to be leaving with like three, uh, or sorry, like 30 or so per run. So it's kind of like eh. But in the later uh, game, you are you will be coming home with like 300. So that's when it's going to be worth it. Uh, don't worry, our friend comes back. He's he's he's. <laughs> This is our boy, Skelly. <laughs> he is a character. He is fully voiced. Everybody here is fully voiced. I've I've done. I, I've played for like nine hours, and I've done this loop so many times, and I don't think I've heard a single piece of of dialogue that's conversational in terms of like contextual uh, that has been repeated. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, so here we go. You have the ability to throw it, and then it stays there, and you can move around. Da -da 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 -da, and it comes back to you. All right. That is it. So you could do you could you could do some pretty interesting moves with uh, with some folks. And on the back side, it's backstab damage. Backstab, look at that. Uh, let's see. You could charge it. AOE attack. There we go. The shield, Captain America shield, is the best, absolute best. Knock back when you slam somebody like that. You could throw it, Captain America style, right? And you could charge, which also deflects. So if incoming bullets or bullets are incoming, you can deflect like this. Then you can smash with it. And there you go. Yow. All right. This one I've used only a couple times. <laughs> I felt like the the fire rate was not that not that uh, rapid, but I feel like they made a little bit of a change to this actually. Oh, whoops! We killed our friend here. So, anyways, yeah, main attack. You could charge it up and do upwards of 42 damage versus 30, and then you have a volley. Does 10 damage. Oh. Oh, it's backstab, so yeah, 14. Uh, and then, uh, that's it. So, let's go ahead and take Captain America out for a spin. Thanks, friend. I'm ready. Now we go into the actual game itself. Ooh, man. It's a lot of info. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. We start up. This is crazy. We're, we're, because of the, notice right here on the left-hand side, bottom. Oh, hold on. One moment, please. Come on. That's what you get. There you go. Okay. So Don't notice right here, it says, it says old spiked collar. You have 25 uh, more health. And then the next one says level three defiance. You, when you take lethal damage, briefly become impervious, blah, 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 blah. Right? So uh, the first boost that we got right at the beginning there gave us 25 health on top of the collar, which gives 25 health. So we're starting with, with more health than, uh, with with a buzz, but max health, I think I've actually never seen over 100 or 20 100. Uh, so yeah, basically you start. We're starting off with like our max upgradable health. Jesus, these guys. Nope. Slap. That's it. Nope. This guy's back there. Fine. How do you manage all mines? Yowch. Some darknesses is our reward for that one. That is a that is a come on. There we go. That will damage enemies. So don't be shy. Now all environmentals impact enemies, actually. Like a fighter slaps somebody into a wall. Okay, well, I killed him too fast. Oh here we go. We'll slap this guy. You said actually you saw right there, it said wall slam. Wall slam again! Yo! Charge these guys here. Lots of concentration. If you could see my face right now, you'd be seeing my concentration face. If you watch the stream, you'll see it. It's quite intense. 
<laughs> Just pursing my lips, trying not to move my tongue all over the place <laughs> like a four year old, because that's what I actually do. <laughs> my tongue is everywhere when I concentrate. It's stupid. Uh, but I do pretty good at hiding out on stream, I think. I think. I think. I don't know. My wife says she sees it. Anyway, so, uh, you can see it's it's that Binding of Isaac style gameplay where you're basically going in and out of different rooms. Oh, this is a whole lot of dudes. Yo! This is a mob. This is a mob spawner. Dominius will tell you that this is a mob spawner. You had to destroy it so it stopped spawning mobs. <laughs> Hope he sees this. That's a mob spawner, by the way. <laughs> oh, also, oh, oh, you'll see there are uh, traps on the ground. Oh, man, this is rough. You can actually very clearly see the traps. That does not necessarily mean that I won't jump right into it several times over. Uh, and over and over. <laughs> it's just for some reason it calls to me. I don't know what it is. Uh, let's see. It's like, what is what is the opposite of having a fear of holes? Yeah, that's it. And that's, I'm drawn to it, guys. That's my excuse. Yep. See? Shield. Man, shield. Uh, uh, but I have I have fallen for some of the other weapons though. The uh, Jesus, so many of these guys. The pole arm is quite good. Oh come on, no no no! Get get, get out of there! Stand over there on the thing. You know so much I like holes. Pulverizing blow. Your attack deals 100% 50% damage, but no longer knocks foes away. This is the first one of these we're getting actually. This match where we have a choice. We could go through and choose one of these things. Uh, to augment a certain ability or a certain ta uh, um, movement or whatever. So uh, your special can hit twice as many foes for returning. This is awesome, by the way. Uh, so we're going to take that. Uh, after you take damage, briefly deflect in all directions. Huh, that's actually kind of useful as well. Hmm. I uh, see your attack deals 100. Yeah, yeah, so we're not going to take away the knockback of this. Like, I've done that a couple times, and it's just rough. Because <laughs> it's melee. You have to get in their oh, face, and then you're yet. swinging on them, and they're not, then they're just still in your face. Armored individuals, which are yellow, you'll see those as we come up in uh, one of these next rooms here. Uh, this guy right here, as a matter of fact, you can't knock him back. Uh, and you can't, you can't stun him. So for example, he's gonna keep on, he's gonna keep on charging, right? Because he has basically armor, and I can't do shit until I break that armor. Now I can basically stun lock him with attack. So I can hit him against the wall. There you go. And then I'm getting, uh, yeah, I'm getting tossed here. Maybe go pump some of these in there. Yo. Wow. God, I hate this. I'm, this is seriously, those guys are the worst. Like not, I'm not saying that they're, you know, poorly designed or anything. I just really, really do not like them. The worst. They're just the worst. Okay. So bad. Hate them. All right. First set of bosses here. Mini bosses. Oh, these guys are glowing yellow. Oh, never mind. Oh, they must have made a, some kind of change. Oh, you know what? There's two different types, actually. I won't spoil the other one for you. But it's basically the same concept. Keep on, keep moving. Don't stop. Which is the same thing as keeping moving. <laughs> and just try to get a good slap in every once in a while. guys are, uh, man, I feel like, I feel like you guys are a little tougher than I, ju I just played, I just been playing for like the past hour, and I was like, hey, you know what, now's a good time to record this city for breakfast, because I'm pretty much in my, I'm in my prime right now, man. And, uh, boy, it didn't take this long to just kill them the last time. I feel like I got some RNG, tough, tough versions here. Some heroic, some mythic plus plus, surprise mythic plus plus. No. Now I can lock one of them down. If I can, but the thing is, he's still gonna throw bombs all over the place in a panic. They drop these. Take those. Thank you. Okay. Once I get one down, the next one's gonna fall pretty quickly. Uh-huh. 
Ouch. I forgot That's about that. Get. That's something that they actually just added, I think. Just a little after explosion. So surprise. Let's see. Uh, I can gift her. I actually have an extra gift. But... Oh yeah, it's fine actually. There's no there's no like specific story there. Let me go ahead and uh throw a gift I'm to you, goddess, for all that you and your side of the family have done for me. Well it simply isn't in my nature to allow such offerings to go unanswered, noble cousin. In turn, I wish for you to have this with my compliments. Lady right. Athena, thank you. Cool. Your father Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time. And Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Don't worry if you know your history, you or your, I guess your mythology, uh, then you already know where this is going. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, your attack is stronger and can deflect. Uh, Phalanx shot, you can't see big, I can deflect. You see your dash is slightly slower, but deals damage. No, 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 no. I don't want to slow that. That dash is my bread and butter. I need that. Uh, your attack is strong, but you can't augment it with certain things like waves and stuff. You're like the Silver Surfer fl uh, flying all over the place. It's pretty interesting, but not my thing. Uh, your attack is stronger and can deflect. I do attack a lot. Uh, this one is the cast. You see, it cast is bigger and stronger. It can wow, that's a massive increase in damage. Absolutely. That's basically 500 and almost 600 damage uh, right off the bat. Right off the bat. 588 damage, four shots? Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's test it on these guys. Okay, well, I gotta, I gotta actually hit them. <laughs> Oh, notice that actually changes the way it looks. It did say it was bigger, better, stronger, whatnot, so... That part should be no surprise. You can't knock these guys into the walls or anything. Until I break that armor. There we go. But, he's got friends, so we gotta be careful. How about we, uh... Go here and get these guys. Give that another shot. There we go. Significant. Oh, there's more. Jeez, come on, guys. Oh, almost destroyed this because I'm tired. Oh, right into the trap. See? Hey, guys, that's a trap. That's what it looks like. Just want to show you. Now, in case you guys uh, have did not see that, don't worry about rewinding. I will show you again in just a moment. No time. Don't worry. Ah, sheep. Oh, there you go. See? That one, that's what it looks like when it's behind a... Um, the corner of a building there, you can't really see the entire spikes. But it's okay, they still do damage, they still function as you would expect. Oh, Poseidon. Ooh. Our trusty elder brother Hades must have tried to poison you against us, Lot. I can imagine it clear as water, nephew. I'm proud that you've resisted his undoubtedly most twisted words. By the way, yeah, don't worry, you're not getting any spoilers. They, they say almost the same thing. Uh, you do get some progression and some synergy between them. So if you run into one god in earlier stages and then later you run into a different god, right? Then they'll, which you almost always will, uh, a lot of times they'll be like, Oh, I see that, uh, that, that, uh, who's so-and-so got a hold of you. And so I'm going to, uh, one-up that person by giving you this blessing. Uh, and so, yeah, there's they're pretty much all, uh, pretty even in terms of like, uh, their, uh, their position in the story, the progression of the story. So let's see, uh, your special deals more damage and knocks foes away. Let's see, that's my, my throne shield. Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Dude, oh, absolutely. Power of the sea. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, just, sorry, I'm so sorry. This is just my favorite. Right there. Oh, the justice slap is back. Oh, it's so good, here we go. Yeah, actually, and that was not even an epic one, or not even, uh, yeah, not even an epic one. There's different tiers that sometimes you get RNG, and it's like, oh, this is a, uh, a legendary perk, and it's like some stupid percentage increase. Let's see, I have 163 coin. Let's go over there, because buying things is a lot more fun on video. Just, like, hoarding more gems, not really that exciting for video, really. It's Charon. See, I can buy things now, like an upgrade to my stuff. What you got here, buddy? Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes. This is exactly what I was saying earlier. Very good. <laughs> Except I think I was at by stage two, I was at 67% level two. So that's what getting an epic would do for you. Charon, you could talk to him. Placeholder arm. Oh, look, look, there's another one right here. That icon, by the way, means that that's the reward of getting the next uh, area. 
And that particular one is an upgrade, so we're going to be leveling that again. No, I forgot about those guys' lasers. Traps on the ground. Notice I triggered those. Those you can actually use to your advantage. These guys are swole. Look at that slap! Look at that! <laughs> it's just so satisfying. It's crazy how far you can send these guys. And it does wall damage, of course. Ah. Inevitably takes some damage, but thankfully each tiny little tick of that beam is only like one damage. Oh, well, there it goes. Wait for it to come back. Oh, couple hits. You like that, you gods? Ching! Hey, look at that level three, sixty percent. Cast is bigger and can deflect. Hundred fifty-seven. Dude, that's pretty. It's crazy. It's crazy. Thank you, gods. But we're gonna go with this because we wanna. We wanna mid-max this. The bass line, the bass. Uh, uh. The music is sick, by the way. Some of the songs actually gives me a very, very strong. Uh, Doom feel, actually. Ah. The problem is sometimes, too, it's uh, slapping them away so far is, uh, you have to run over and slap them again. Thankfully, the wall damage usually does the trick. But this guy, these guys don't suffer wall damage, as you can see. That feels like that's a bug. Go. Yeah. No. Boom. There we go. Whoa. Gotta blow up. There, 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 there. Let's see. Oh, we got a little shop right here. Awesome. I can use. These sometimes uh, pop up while you're while you're out on about. Let's see. Uh... Oh man, is that worth the coin? Let's see. Uh, nah. Uh, more health? No, I don't believe we could go over a hundred. I could be wrong. I just, I feel like I just, at that point, I just don't notice. I just don't notice. Let's get some more coin. Here we go. Special event. Let's see if you awesome. Can this is this. perfect. You guys are getting the full gamut. This is everything I wanted to show you guys all in one run, which is good because I only want to do one run for this. Thank you for breakfast. Ah. These things over there. Ah, oh, shit. Give my leaf. Give my shield back. Big for that corridor, it seems. Oh, just gonna stay alive. That's all. We're good. Ooh. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go get paid. Wait a minute. Was there a shopper? No, that was the coin, right? That was it. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Just checking. There's also another thing we may not see on this run, and that is a, uh, a chest that pops up, and it has a hundred coin in it. You have to kill everything before the countdown, which is the coin amount counts down to 10. 10 is the minimum amount of coin you get. And so, yeah, you basically have, well, I don't know if it's one tick per second or one coin per second, but you're racing against the clock. Uh, man, 150 for that? Nope, I'll take these. Should help keep me going. I wish I could get another gift. My girl Dusa. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Kara. Well, this is awkward. Oh, hey. And here you are again. You're slow to learn the way of things, I see. I may be slow to learn, but at least I'm rather patient. Okay, Let's so... Your patience is beginning to test mine. I mentioned on the stream, this is totally pocket. Change my mind. Alright, so, boss fight. Nope. Because... Few phases. I don't want to like necessarily explain them because that's something you have to figure out on your own. If you're watching, obviously you'll see some of them, but you probably won't see all of them. Actually, I feel like I've gone entire fights without 
seeing certain things. Whoa! I need to go get my uh, my gems back. Here we go. Clean up a little bit. Oh, I'm in the back corner here. I can't get it out. Ah. My uh, shots are too big to get out of the corners. So they immediately nullify and convert back to coin. Come on, would you? Now she's holding all of them. Means I have to kill her in order to get them back. <laughs> or sorry, wait, wait for her to uh, wait it out before we get them back. Come on. There we go, we got it back. Ouch, took a little bit of damage there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get that out there, do a little bit of damage. And then, let's get over in her face. We can do some damage while she's meditating or whatever it is, casting. Take care of these two. Can. What else? Get that going that direction. She's coming this way. Woo! Oh. They go out of my rhythm there. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. There was a little outlet there. Oh. You know that 140 damage will be coming in handy in a second. The uh, initial artifact that I decided not to go with. A couple good hits there. Where's the rest of my. Uh, there they are. Whoa! Once those guys get swinging, they have a, a huge range. Okay, I threw it the wrong way. Oh, here we go. We spawn all these dudes. I'm getting. Oh, okay. Well, that's one death. I got a few. Get these guys. Get the rest of these if I can. Wah! Wait, it's a long fight! Have the damn show! Uh-oh, uh-oh. It might not happen. This sure is a whole lot of people here. Trying to take care of ads, boy, it's rough. Get ads under control. Oh, she got me there. She's right there, whoops. Oh, man, she, oh, she's always gonna win that charge. You're not gonna counter charge or anything like that. Oh, shit. Saw that coming. Where is she? What is she doing? She's spawning a lot more dudes. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to take that little bit, do a little more damage. Been here all day.
These guys all oh, bunch in the corner here like jerks. Oh, shit. More dudes. Oh shit, new phase. Get the ball in, grab this one. Come on. Well, as you can see, it's a pretty intense fight. <laughs> oh, that was good. Got to keep at it. You know, I've already beaten her uh, just once, actually. I've only beaten her one time, actually, so far. Uh, and right once, maybe twice, maybe twice. No, I think it's just once. Yeah, just definitely just once. Um, so I'm still I'm still working with her mechanics, and even though you know the mechanics, Had enough yet. <laughs> this guy, uh, even though you know the mechanics, there's still like the skill part that you have to like refine the timing, the the method, the rotation, whatever it is. Uh, not to mention my build there was completely different from the build that I had. Uh, in the first time that I actually beat the game, uh, or I should not beat the game, but beat that boss. I have nowhere near beating the game. Uh, so yeah, there's basically a, um, there's a bit of a refinement to your character that you have to basically go through in terms of like, okay, how do I, how do I chain these things together? What's the best me method of attack for doing whatever? Uh, I noticed that I was blocking with my shield. That's something that you can't, uh, that you can't do with the sword, for example. You can attack and uh, you could do your AOE, but as far as I know, there's actually no way to just like hold something out and just do a deflect. And I believe there's a, there's also limitations to what you can do with other uh, weapons as well. So there's a there's a bunch of nuances and little things that you learn about your character in the combat that's really fucking cool. Uh, so let's see, we only got 35 from that run. See, this is why I'm saying going for the 10% is really not worth it. I'm I'm eight hours into the game and it's still not worth it. <laughs> so, let's see, uh, Deep Pockets, uh, Shadow Pro I'm just gonna go ahead and choose something because it doesn't matter because that's the end of this show right here. That's it, guys. The game is uh, is pretty fantastic. I am very, it's beautiful. Uh, obviously, there's some placeholder stuff going on, so we still have- A path toward the surface lies somewhere beyond all that. So there's uh, obviously more. Oh wow, for the chamber, farthest chamber reached, 27 to 27, look at that. When would it actually be anything other than of? If I reach 28, wouldn't it be 28 to 28? I know I didn't reach the last boss. I'm fairly certain the boss I reach is not the last boss, but uh, yeah, definitely not 27 chambers. That seems really low. Uh, if you once you pass the first boss, you don't get to start at the second starting area. You have to start over and keep going, going from there. But by this at this point, you're pretty, you're getting pretty swole, right? Like your 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 talent tree is looking pretty full, uh, and so there's a lot of flexibility that you have, a lot of damage you're putting out, a lot of damage you're negating, uh, all that stuff. And so so there's there's a lot. What I love about the game is that uh, you know, like Rogue Legacy, which was one of my it was one of my all time favorites, uh, Rogue Lights. Uh, like that, I have the constant feeling of progression. I have the constant feeling. They're just, they're nickel and diming me. Yeah, I only got 38 darknesses for that run, but still 38 is actually quite a bit. To, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's at least like the first two, sometimes three tiers on some of these things. So you got to think of it like that. You're kind of chipping away at some of the lower end ones. And then what you could do is remove a whole bunch of points from something that maybe you don't necessarily use a lot. Like after you dash and you, and you attack, you have a percentage bonus increase of damage. Maybe I don't use it that much. So I'm gonna dump all the points that I've been kind of trickling into there out of that and stack it in somewhere else, thus min-maxing 
uh, for another build. And so, so there you see, there's like all of these different cool things that you could do. Uh, and I gotta say, I really love, I really love the game for it. I really love that they put all this stuff in it. Uh, and they created this, um, you know, this kind of like just little tiny bits that you're chipping away here to kind of make you feel like a little carrot on a stick, right? Make you feel like you're making progress constantly. Even though the core game loop is the, exactly the same every single time. You grab a weapon, you go out into the field, you do a couple chambers, you get your ass handed to you, you come, you res back at the bloodbath, and then you come out, you do it again. You play, you, you throw your upgrades in and all the stuff, then you do it again. All that stuff is the same, but you keep on getting stronger and stronger, and it gets more and more interesting. So, uh, that's it. Like, I really love the game, obviously. It's called Hades. Let's go back to the, to the main menu here. Got the cool outro song. Even the, even the title animation is sick. Like, really? Just the slash the come on man. Amazing. So that's it. Updated 13 December 2018. That's actually uh that's actually not the date of this recording, but uh but yeah, that's to explain all the uh, the patch notes. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Oh hey, look at this. Balance of weapons, yep. Probably a bunch of things here that they uh, changed. Boons, uh boons upgraded, see da, 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 da. Yeah, we're not gonna do that right now. But yeah, lots of changes. Wow, holy crap. So that's it guys, my name is Mike B. This game is called Hades, currently available on the Epic Game Store. For nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, I never in a million years would, would think that I would say that. That's just that just seems so foreign to me. The Epic Game Store, holy crap, weird. But that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.